वेलकम चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज निहारिका फ्रॉम सेंट जोसेफ्स कॉन्वेंट स्कूल होप यू हैव सीन माय लास्ट वीडियो अबाउट ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री पार्ट टू टेंथ क्लास आई सी स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट ऑलरेडी आई वॉन्ट टू रिकॉल व्हाट आई हैव टॉट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट व्हाट आर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स व्हाट इज द मॉडर्न थियोरी एंड अप टू आइसोमिजम I told you. So again, I want to recall you that isomerism property: compounds having same molecular formula but different structural formula are known as the isomerism phenomenon. And the these compounds are called the isomers. So today we are going to discuss about the classification of organic compounds. Now let's see. So children, as already I have discussed about the organic compounds. the two which compounds you will tell the organic compounds mainly the element is carbon so now mainly they are the hydrocarbons hydrocarbons means mainly element is carbon and as hydro means that is hydrogen so carbon plus hydrogen compounds are known as the hydrocarbons it can be divided into two types one is open chain another one is closed chain so open chain what is open i will tell you later so open chain compounds are called the acyclic acyclic or aliphatic compounds or aliphatic compounds like closed chain compounds are known as the cyclic compounds so again that open chain compounds can be divided into two parts one is saturated another one is unsaturated unsaturated so again saturated compounds can be divided into alkanes or they are known as the paraffins paraffins and these are the alkenes again two types alkenes and alkynes here that is ane ene and yne and these are called the olefins this can be called the acetylenes acetylenes so now children saturated means what saturated means as i told that carbon has the special property of the self linking property so when there is a single bond single bond between carbon to carbon then this is called the saturated or these compounds are known as the alkanes so what do you write in the place of alk that i will tell you later like this when there is a double bond and triple bond double and triple bond between the car atoms carbon atoms then these are known as the unsaturated hydrocarbons and in this category it is come the if double bond is there then that is the alkenes if triple bond is there then it is the alkynes so the other names are as i told paraffins alkenes are known as paraffins alkenes are known as olefins and alkynes are known as acetylenes now come to the closed chain so in case of closed chain uh, it is the cyclic chain so here again two types of compounds you can be found one is the alicyclic another one is the aromatic aromatic so in alicyclic compounds that is the like this compounds can be there suppose this is the here again in this carbon atoms it can be linked so like this it is the alicyclic aromatic means it is like a special structure that is the ring structure ring structure means how it is that is the ring structure so here it can be there hydrogen atoms to to like this it can be so as it is like a ring so this considered as the aromatic 
compounds. Now children, we will read about the functional groups. What are functional groups? So functional groups are the chemically reactive atoms or group of atoms. Chemically reactive atoms or group of atoms. Or group of atoms. So what that group of atoms, where are they remaining? They are remaining in the organic compounds. That chemically reactive atom or group atom present in the molecule of the organic compound which is responsible for the properties of the organic compound. According to this functional group only that organic compounds showing the properties. So very very important the attachment of the functional groups. So according to the functional groups the organic compounds divides into different parts. Now we will read about the different types of functional groups. What are they? So if any halogens as you know that one the seventh a group in the periodic table there are fluorine chlorine bromine iodine are there so if any of these is attached in your organic compound then they are known as the haloalkanes halogens as halogens attached then these compounds are known as the haloalkanes like this another functional group is your alcohol group alcohol group alcohol group so if in the organic compound if one group is present that is oh like this 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 is the representation of a group if in any carbonic carbon compounds or organic compounds this group is present then it is known as your hydroxyl group and your organic compounds functional group is hydroxyl this is known as the hydroxyl and the group of atoms are known as the alcohol groups. Means whenever a compound is, you are representing a compound, you have to last that suffix you have to put that is the OL. Like methanol, propanol, ethanol like this. The suffix is OL. This is the suffix. This is the suffix. Like in another functional group is your CHO group. Means it is called the aldehyde group. Aldehyde, aldehyde group. So how will you represent this group? Here it is the C, double bond O, this is the H. This is your representation, this is the aldehyde group of the representation. And at last also that you can write uh, uh, that suffix is AL. You can write methanol, ethanol, propanol, butanol, AL group is your aldehyde group that is the suffix is the al like this another uh, functional group is your carboxylic group or carboxylic acids this is the carboxylic acids so how to represent this group this group representation is c double bond o single bond oh this is a representation and in this group, you can put that ethanoic acid, propanoic acid. Last is the oic acid group. Oic acid group. This is called oic acid group. Now, the next group is ketone group. Ketone group. Ketone. Ketone group means your representation is, that is the C, only double bond O. Here, R. CO R prime. So here one alkyl group, here another alkyl group and C double bond O is the representation. So here that is the O-N-E means propanone, butanone like this known. O-N-E at last that suffix is O-N-E propanone, butanone like this. So these functional groups again when we will read about the structural formula how to write the organic compounds then only you will be clear about all these things. So right now your work is to remember the symbols of the functional groups that is what is the symbol of alcohol group and how it is represented what is the symbol of aldehyde group and how it is represented these are very very important things you have to remember that if alcohol group is asking there must be OH if aldehyde group 
or suffix is al is asking there must be this type of structure if that is the oic acid there must be this type of structure and if that must be that one this is this type of structure so if this type of structures are present so these are uh, these are going to the special type of functional group and according to that the compound shows the property and according to that we have to give the names so dear children today uh, this much about this video hope you understand it learned it very well you learn it the next video i will tell how to naming the organic compounds then only whatever you have doubt in this in this uh, section also you will clear about uh, in that time thank you children